Hello and welcome everybody. This is Dan McManus broadcasting live from Evesis headquarters in Vancouver, Washington. On the line with me today is a very special guest, Rob Johnson, the CEO of the Billiard Congress of America. Welcome, Rob. Thank you. And yeah, and so uh, we've got something special cooked up for you here today, everyone. Uh, we're going to talk at the end of this discussion about a national billiard event taking place in Las Vegas later this month. But before we get to that, a uh, little bit of background on us, and I'll turn it over to Rob. So we are Evesis Inc. We are a 20-year-old company who has built software specifically for the billiard industry. We have dealers around the United States that run their business on Lou, our cloud-based software, every day. And so we try to mix up these webinars and keep them interesting and fun. And as we do that, uh, we uh, reached out to BCA, Billiard Congress of America, tracked down Rob Johnson. And so Rob, I'm sure everyone would love to hear a little bit about you and BCA. Sure, well, thank you for having me. Uh, Billiard Congress of America was founded in 1948. It's a nonprofit. And um, based, best way to d describe it is we have four different groups of membership, manufacturers and distributors in the billiard and home entertainment industry, then we have retailers of the products, then we have um, home rooms, um, so game room, billiard halls, pool halls, and restaurants that have pool tables and home rec equipment, and then our fourth category um, would be the players. Um, that's a little bit about the industry, and then myself uh, started at PCA in 2006, have a sports marketing background, and have enjoyed every day of it. Nice. So, so a little bit more about that. How did you end up, you know, in the billiards? So it's a little bit more about your sports background and what what weaved you toward the billiard industry. That's a great question. Yeah, I have a journalism sports marketing background and started working through the ad agency world and was consulting in uh, with sports properties, got into a really, I don't know the right way to describe it, but I started doing consulting for sports properties that were building new arenas and new stadiums and professional sports. And we would put together the sales and marketing plans for the premium seating and then in the suites um, and found a great opportunity to do that in the nineties when so many of the new facilities were being built. Um, that led me to getting involved in managing a motorsports facility that was being built. And I ended up becoming president of the motorsports facility and ran that for eight years and then we sold the racetrack and I was looking for the next venture and ended up running a facility in Denver, an uh, IndyCar race on the streets of Denver. And it was a new challenge for me, taking a, running a fixed facility with Grand Sands and now building an IndyCar race on the streets was a new challenge for me. So I did that for a year. And then I was reached out by this association and they were going through change and they wanted someone to help them go through the change. And I looked at it as an opportunity that I might do for two or three years um, outside of my comfort zone, but also in my comfort zone of doing um, turnarounds and, and helping with uh, growth and, and really just refiguring the association. So thought I'd be there two or three years and I've been there for 16 years. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how that happened. Exactly. Well, all right, let's talk about billiards. So here we are midway through 2022, trying to come out of a pandemic. Um, what's what's going on in the billiard industry? What's happened over the last couple of years? Uh, it's exploded. I mean, it, it's been amazing. So leading into the pandemic, things were going well for the industry. Was We were growing uh, and doing well. And then, you know, the early days of the pandemic, we were much like every other industry um, facing the uncertainty you know, could retail stores stay open? Could pool halls stay open? How is this going to work? Um, and we went, you know, as an association, tried to provide as much information as we can to the industry for, you know, can you operate? And if you operate, how to operate safely? And, you know, we all look back to those days and we use the word pivot, but it was, you know, not that long ago. And we had retailers that were learning how to sell off of their iPhones and showing inventory by pictures and then doing curbside and, you know, crazy times since that time. And, you know, everything is, everything is reopened, but we still are, you know, dealing with the pandemic, the industry has just exploded. And, you know, we traditionally see when these types of events force people to, you know, either inside or to focus on the family after 9-11, after these types of um, situations happen, this industry explodes. And we're going through that right now. We are seeing though, continue to continue to thrive and that's good for us. It's not just a blip, but we're continuing to see growth as we speak. 
Yeah, it's amazing. You could, you could almost picture it, right? Just folks hunkered down at home and we're going to be at home uh, for a while. And what are we going to do? Well, you know, maybe the billiard table is there. Maybe it's time to go out and, and check it out and actually make that purchase that I've been thinking about for a while. You know, so. and I think all the, you know, I think us as parents, we've all, you know, we all want to unplug. We all want to get our kids to unplug. So people have been talking about that. And then the pandemic created this opportunity to truly try it. And that's what we th we believe will continue to go forward, which is, you know, this is a, most of these games you do unplug and, and get away from. And certainly there's an opportunity for some virtual types of games that we have in the industry. But the fact is, is that a lot of people have unplugged with these games and we think it'll continue. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Well, let's talk more specifically about uh, products. So we, at Evesis, we work with hundreds of dealers all around the United States and many of them sell swimming pool or hot tub or hearth products, that type of thing. And some of them are thinking about, well, maybe I should add billiards to my repertoire. Maybe I should expand my product line. So why? what are some of the reasons why dealers should think about uh, expanding into the billiard industry? No, it's a great question. I mean, I think number one is what we just talked about, that the industry is doing well and the, there's demand for it from the consumer. You know, a couple other thoughts that I have is, is there's a ton of accessories that come with, you know, buying a pool table or buying a dartboard or buying a shuffleboard, you know, that the products that are in our industry all have a ton of accessories that come with it. And then you still have the service model as well. You know, a pool table needs to be leveled on a regular basis. You need new cloth on a regular basis. Your pockets might break on a regular basis. Same thing with dartboards. You know, people are always going to be buying new darts that whether they lost them or broke them or just want to you know change it up and so this industry does create a great opportunity for a dealer that wants to sell product and also have a good service model and a good accessory model so it, it works very well and we you know if we go back to when i started 2006 you know predominantly our billiard retailers that's what they did billiards and over time, it's become more home leisure. And over time, they've diversified as well. So just like you time with your hot tub people, you know, our message is we want you to diversify to be successful. You know, we do have a few retailers that are solely focused on billiards, but that's not the majority at all anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. We were just talking about before we jumped on the webinar here, how popular uh, shuffleboard had become a Correct. couple of years ago. And so it's really continuing to expand. And, you know, you touched on something that came up a lot as we speak with dealers. We sort of assumed as we started really getting serious about the billiard industry and marketing to it, um, we sort of assumed, yeah, retail, we get it. But, you know, is service really a big part of this industry? And what we heard from dealers was, oh, my goodness, yes, we are very serious about our service business. We do tons of Q-stick repairs, felt repair, all kinds of different repairs. So, uh, that's been a key learning from our end is just how important the service side of the business is. And you certainly just reinforce that. Absolutely. And it's, you know, the ones that do it well, it's a great profit margin for them. And again, you know, you think about that service person going into the, someone's home is a very personal thing and allowing them to come in the home. And if they handle it professionally, not only can they make that repair or that provide that service, but oftentimes they can identify additional revenue streams for the the company, again, they may see a, you know, be in there to level the table and notice there's something wrong with a pocket. Yeah. And so there's, you know, just like any industry, there's a lot of opportunity here through the service model. That's a great point. You would definitely want a trusted service provider. You know, they're entering yeah. the home, they're, they're uh, fixing uh, things that are going to be used by the entire family. Exactly. Um, okay, so where do where does someone get product? Uh, this is sounding good, sounding like uh, some folks might want to check into this a bit further. So where would I find product for shuffleboard, for billiards, for darts, all these uh, new product lines? No, it's a great question. You know, we we still have a you know, the majority of our retailers are ma and pa retailers, and you can find them in any any town. Literally, Google and home entertainment and and billiards and and that is our model. We have the large boxes that sell the products and they do a great job, but there are still, we still go back to the old model of the, the local retailer, um, mostly with our high end of products, especially, but it's, you know, you can find our product just about anywhere. Very nice, very nice. Well, there is an event coming up uh, later this month. Can you talk about the BCA Expo? I'm proud to say that uh, 
we will be there. We're bringing the Absolutely. house. We're bringing our team uh, to Las Vegas in just a couple of weeks. So how's the BCA Expo looking? It's good. You know, the BCA Expo is the event in the entertainment for the billiard and home leisure industry. So it's a it's a true buying show to this day. And so our exhibitors will be kind of what we've already talked about today. So exhibitors that are selling anything from massage chairs to billiard tables, pool tables, shuffleboard, darts, accessories that go with it. Um, and then the attendees predominantly are dealers. So retail store owners that are looking to buy. And a lot of them are buying for the upcoming holiday season. It's a good model for us right now. Uh, they're looking to buy. We also have series of seminars that we put on and they're free and we have seminars anywhere from marketing to showrooming and you know the new world of technology that you and I are talking about and on top of that we put on a junior tournament for um, our junior players like any industry the future growth of our game is through the kids so we host a junior pro uh, national tournament eight ball nine ball and ten ball so there's a lot going on at the expo and we invite any dealer that wants to either get into the industry or, or learn about the industry, go to bcaexpo.com and you can get information on registering for the show. Uh, it's a three-day show in Las Vegas, like we said, June 22nd through 24th. Excellent. Well, we will be there. bcaexpo.com is Correct. that website address. You want to check it out if you want to get tickets to, uh, to attend. And we're looking forward to being a part of that event. So thanks for having us. Um, I guess last question, Rob, is, you know, words of wisdom. What, what would you recommend uh, a dealer do, whether they're uh, able to attend the expo or not? What would be some logical next steps in terms of how to just, uh, just re do their research on billiard products and get closer to the industry? You know, there's a couple of things. One is, you know, reach out to us. So we're bca-pool.com. So again, our website's bca-pool.com on that website you can find our contact information our membership contact information and we get a lot of calls from people just exactly with your question is this a good industry to get into what do i need to think about and we're happy to answer questions but also put you in touch with you know leaders in the industry where you can get more information same thing with our expo if you're thinking about becoming a dealer of this product come to our bca expo and talk with industry leaders meet with us and we can introduce you to industry leaders and you can see if it makes sense for the business that you run wonderful all right well hopefully everyone got some value from that i am going to uh, open up the lines for one minute we can take some quick q a so andrew are you on the line i am on the line okay got any questions out there I do. Yes, we've got some folks that are curious, and it's actually a question for Rob here first. Uh -oh. um, and, and the big question is, do, do you personally own a billiard table? <laughs> I do. I did not when I took the job, but I now have one. And it's awesome. Funny, the funny story about that is that every time I go to somebody's house and, and you know, we're going to play pool and there's going to be like a tournament, they're like, we want Rob on our team. And they think because <laughs> I work at BCA, I'm a good pool player and I am not. So that's always like, be careful what you ask for. <laughs> but I love playing the game. It's a lot of fun. I fully agree. I'm, I'm kind of in your same category. I'm terrible, but I really enjoy it. I was never, I was, ne I never excelled in geometry. That's where I struggled. Exactly. So I guess that, that probably has a little bit to do with it. Um, so with your billiard table, where in your home do you keep it? You know, we're actually, we actually have it in our living room. So nice. Wow. You know, it, it's, it was very intentional for us to put it in the living room. It was mm -hmm. unused space for us. And we wanted the kids upstairs with us. You know, we we're yeah. in Colorado. We still have the, the basements and kids can go hide in the basement. We put it up in the living room <laughs> and either playing with the kids or the kids have their friends over. And it's actually worked yeah. out really well for us. That's genius. All right, Dan, same question for you. Do you have a, do you have a, a pool table, billiard table? Oh my, you got me. I, I do not. However, oh. I am actively shopping at the BCA Expo later this month. And I've gone so far as to discuss it with my wife and she's okay with it also becoming our dining room table. So I'm looking for one of those oh. pool tables. They can also put that layer on and it magically becomes your dining room table. So I'm in the market and actively shopping. Love it. That's great. We'll be accountable for each other at the, at the show, Dan. We'll make sure we don't spend too much money. <laughs> Absolutely. And then, uh, Rob, one more question for you that just came in. Um, we had one of our attendees, they were viewing the, the bcexpo.com website, and uh, their question is, they, you kind of touched on a little bit about the BEF Junior National Championships being held. Um, could you elaborate a little bit more on that? 
for, for these kids that are that are tearing it up on the billiard table? Absolutely. So we have about seven years ago, we took the junior program. So the Billiard Education Foundation is a nonprofit. And BCA manages the Billy Education Foundation. About seven years ago, we brought them into the BCA Expo show with us. We wanted the industry to see the future of, of the game. And so it was a win-win. It provided a circus tent for the kids to have a tournament in a really professional setting. And, and we're able to manage it and, and do a very good job with it. And it was great for the industry, again, to remind them this is, this is why you're doing this. The kids that compete, they go through qualifiers at the state level. And then they can also enter through the national level as long as there's there's openings at the time. And we have a nine ball tournament, an eight ball tournament, and a 10 ball tournament. Um, we have different age groups um, going down from, we have kids playing at you know, 20 years old in the 10 ball, 19 years old in the other two tournaments all the way down that we have eight year olds playing. And we have a photo from last year, kids, they glued lifts to his shoe so that he was high enough to play pool on the table they're about eight inches tall and he walks on these and it went viral last year that's so hilarious cutest thing and so they play in our tournament and then the the winners in the different divisions qualify for worlds and then we have a world tournament once a year uh this year it'll take place this fall in uh puerto rico wow very cool very cool so if i see any youngsters walking around that offer to play a game for five dollars a ball just say no is what you're saying <laughs> be careful <laughs> that's great yeah they're, it's so fun to watch them i mean it's they're so good and you know it's it's teaching etiquette and the proper way to play the game and yeah. it just continues to grow it's been fantastic love it well that's uh that's all the questions we had dan uh, that came through so yeah rob Excellent. i appreciate it now i appreciate well, the time thank you yeah, this webinar has been fantastic. Thanks for teaching us a little bit about the billiard industry, Rob. And we look forward to being a part of your event uh, later this month. It's bcaexpo.com. And thanks so much for your time today. Thank you guys for getting involved in the industry. And we look forward to seeing you there. I think you have a lot of success. So you have a great product. And I think our industry really needs it. So we appreciate you guys taking the time. If there's any questions about uh, our software for the billiard industry, it's real easy. Just email us at lou at Thanks so much, Rob. Have a great day. You as well. Thank you, guys.